Hey guys, coming at you from the back of my office today. Rescue. This is where I'm working today. Good old ambulance. Hey Jennifer, how you doing? Jennifer, good to see ya. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> this is right. I'm glad you have an opportunity to see where I work. This is well, I, you know, I don't have to stay in here the whole time. I'm confined to this box the whole time. It's crazy. We've actually been. Uh, it's been good today. It's been. Uh, it's been nice. It's been nice and steady. A nice. A nice slow Sunday. Not bad at all. Uh, doing good. Thanks, Jennifer. Yeah, we're doing good. Um, I'm here until eight o'clock tomorrow morning, and so I haven't. Actually, haven't had anybody in here today. So it's been nice. But. Let me turn this thing around. I think I gotta I gotta try to be careful to keep my my logo out of this. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh pray for strength, pray for a quiet night. Uh we can always pray for people not to be hurt uh or injured. That's always good. Yeah, I gotta try to keep my patch out of it so that we don't we don't want any county logos in anything that I'm doing, so that probably wouldn't be a good thing. But um I just felt I felt inspired and I felt stirred to just share a word with you guys and just to bless you and I just command I just I just command the waters to part in each and every one of your lives. The waters that have come against you, even the things that have felt like a flood over you in your life, that they just be parted right now as you put your feet in the water and as you walk forward into the giftings and abilities and passions that God has presented in front of you and that he wants for you, I just command every, every stream to part from out of your way, that the waters be parted. And I know, well, you may not know, that in the Old Testament, the waters, and there's a lot of symbolism around the waters, but the waters are, can be symbolic for just a wildness and just, uh, just an overwhelming uh, property, and they are often represent. They often represent the um, the kingdom of darkness, just because they they the uh, people, the writers of the Old Testament, the people of the Old Testament, just felt like they were so wild and untamed. And so, right now, I'll use that verbiage, and I just command all waters to part out of your way, that you will walk across into the promised land on dry ground, that there would be nothing that would inhibit your walk with the Lord, that everything shall clear out of your way. Yeah, mountains too, Jennifer. Mountains be moved out of your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command them to crumble before you. You will not be held back. You will not be hindered in, to reach that promised land that God has prepared for you. And I know that he has immense blessings for each and every one of you watching right now, and for each and every every person that's out there, even, in, even each and every person person in your lives that are surrounding you and in the communities around you and, and even in your own house. There are so many blessings and so many promises that God has in store for you that every promise is yes and amen. Every promise is yes and completed and finished in Christ. So grab onto that and walk today with the knowledge of authority of how much you're loved and how much power that you have is trample on the, on the heads of snakes and scorpions. And that's what we do right now. We trample on them. And I'm pray with me and be in agreement with me that... Every snake and scorpion would be tramp. Come on, camera, flip. Every snake and scorpion would be trampled in here. Anybody that comes into this rescue would feel the blessings and the love and the favor of the Lord and experience the miraculous healing, not just physically but spiritually and emotionally. That this would be a bed of salvation. This would be a bed of of sozo. That is wholeness and completeness in the name of Jesus. That this uh, heart monitor right here would reveal just hearts that, that desire and are desperate for Jesus, and that it would reveal the heartbeat after, after the Lord's own heart. So we just do. We pray that in each and every one of your lives, that whatever might be standing in your way, whatever the enemy might be trying to bring against you, just the work of that be undone in the mighty name of Jesus. I just break every chain around your feet in the name of Jesus, and I just release the favor and the glory of God over you in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm in my ambulance right now. My regular ambulance. I'm actually at work. I'll be here until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, yeah, I'm here. And I'm excited what God's going to do to anybody that, that um, uh, enters into this place. Yes. Yes. Baptism, Holy Spirit, and fire over every patient. I'm in agreement with that, Jennifer. Thank you. Yes. Um, thank you very much. Yep. You guys eating yet? What time is it? It's 5.30 where I am. I think they have dinner ready. So, 
I'm going to cut out for now. But um, just just be blessed by that and just feel the love of God as it crashes over you like waves. So... Sorry, you're, you you got kind of interrupted. It looks like Jennifer got interrupted. I don't have a very strong signal here in the station, but... All right, see you.